Meantime, the city of Austin's hoping tiny apartments will help solve the big problem of affordable housing. They're called micro units, apartments with only 500 square feet or less, and they may soon be Austin's next building trend. Our Omar Lewis explains why bigger isn't always better. I've loved it. I've absolutely loved living here. Natalie Short's humble abode is only 290 square feet and just minutes away from downtown Austin. Well, it's cozy and, you know, I have just enough room to do the things that I need to do. There may be clothes in the bathroom and shoes in the pantry, but for Short, it's everything she needs. You don't need much more space than this. So. The Austin city manager is now researching how to get more micro units in the downtown area. The goal is to get more singles closer to town by offering affordable housing and encouraging less driving. Having more options for people where they can get on a bike or take a short walk to get to all the things where they used to have to drive to, uh, you're, you're doing some things for traffic congestion for everybody. Just last August, construction started here to build 135 compact and affordable apartments that will only cost about $500 a month. They're very small. They're about 400 square feet. And so it's your own space, kitchenette, bathroom, um, fully furnished. Natalie Short is hoping even more Austinites will soon get the chance to turn a shoebox into a castle. I wish they would have done it sooner, actually. Omar Lewis, KXAN News. Shoes in the pantry is pretty creative, I think. <laughs> city Manager Mark Ott is expected to bring his findings back to the Austin City Council on February 27th. And we took a closer look at the cost of renting in the Austin area. A federal report shows an average two-bedroom apartment in Austin runs about $1,050 a month. That's tied for the highest price in Texas. It's nearly 200 more than the state average.